Good evening, my beauties. Hello, this is Missy Prissy Borders here. Welcome to my channel. Um, this is a late night video. Um, I have, it's been requested by a few of my girlfriends that they wanted me to do a perfume video. So, we are doing a perfume video of all my favorite scents and why I like them and what I think about them and all that good stuff. So, if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. I hope you consider subscribing. And um, if you're a follower, welcome back. Um, I think you're beautiful, and I thank you guys so much for uh, stopping by and watching my videos. And um, I do pray for y'all at night. Even though I might not know who you are, I do pray for my subscribers. And um, I love you all, and I thank you for watching. So, let's just jump right in. Okay, now, um, a lot of these perfumes I have are, have been gifts that I've received over Christmases or, you know, that I've, and some of them I've bought myself. And I probably smell, right now, if you, even though you can't smell me, I smell like a ton of perfume because after I was, you know, cleaning my bottles off and getting them ready, I, I thought, well, let me smell this. Oh, let me smell this. Oh, let me smell that one. So, I smell like a bunch of perfume. So, we're just going to jump right in with my first all-time favorite. One time, I, you know, if you go to people's houses there or you have your friends and they smell like something there, you're like, oh, you smell so good, you know. So, my first perfume that I've always loved is Light Blue from Dolce & Cabana. Now, I might not have said the name right. Uh, as you can see, I'm almost out. I've had this one for a good while. I don't know if um, I smelled it, and I thought, well, I don't know if that smells the same. Um, but it might be because I have on so much, and it might be. I don't know. Do they have an expiration date? I really don't know. But light blue, to me, always smells like light. I mean, it's just a light fragrance. Um, might be a little bit floral, but it's just a light scent that stays on you for a long time. That is my first favorite, always been a favorite. My second favorite that has always been a favorite is Eternity. I absolutely love this. Now, this is for ladies, of course. I do love Eternity for men, too, because I think it smells so sexy. But the Eternity for a woman reminds me of Smarties. Um, like the way that Smarties smell or either the smell reminds me of the way they taste or something. But it's something about this perfume reminds me of Smarties. But I love it. And it might be the way it reacts on my skin. But to me it smells like Smarties. And I just love this. This is an all-time favorite. I got this... Um, at Christmas time once from my parents because they love me so much and um, that's my second all-time favorite um let's see now I also have some Dior Joy this I've had for a, a couple of Christmases ago and I use that all the time uh, the last few times I've gone out I've wore this because it smells so good <laughs> it smells um kind of floral but it's not heavy it's not a heavy scent i think it smells delish and um it says it's intense but it might smell intense to start with but it is so wonderful and it stays on your clothes and it stays on you for a, a while and i do absolutely love that perfume it's one of my favorite ones Another one of my favorite one is Estee Lauder's Pleasures Delight. Um, I love this too. Uh, let's just spray it one more time. I don't know where I sprayed it at, but let's just give it another whirl here. Oh, it smells delish. Um, I guess this is another floral scent. Um, but it's not as light, but it's not super heavy either. You know, it's just like a medium fragrance to me. Um, but I do love that one. It is a favorite as well. Um, and the I have a Juicy Couture here. I purchased this one myself. Um, I have always smelt this on other people, and I thought that smells so good. So I ordered me some. 
but I just don't think it smells as good on me. Uh, maybe it's just, it might smell good on me to other people, but I think it don't smell as good on me. Now, like, like I said, I have sprayed a lot of perfume, so... I mean, it smells good, but I don't... I don't think it smells as good on me as it smells on others, you know. But it smells good. But anyway, I purchased this for myself. As you can see, I haven't worn a lot of it because, like I said, I'm not sure it smells great on me, you know. But maybe it does. Um, this perfume right here is from Mary Kay. It's, I don't even know if they still make this anymore. But um, it's called Sparkling Honeysuckle. It's just a light fragrance. I do like, um, I love to smell honeysuckles outside in the summertime. Let's see, I'm sure I got a spot that sprayed yet. <sighs> I love it. Smells just like honeysuckles that you smell outside. Love that. Um, this was, is the one that is from, uh, Modern News. It's from Estee Lauder. This one I purchased myself as well. And there's only a tiny drop inside. Love this perfume. Use it all. I don't know if you can see what's inside, but there's only like a tiny, tiny bit right down in here. So, I love that. That was awesome because I used it all. Another one I like is um, C from Giorgio Armani. Um, right here. I purchased this myself um, from Belks. I, it's been a while, uh, but this one right here is a heavier perfume. So, I mean, it's kind of like musky, sexy, heavier, you know, but it smells good. Um, another one I have is Decadent, Decadence from Marc Jacobs right here. I purchased this myself as well. Um, I've got some gone. This one is also a heavy perfume. Let me spray it somewhere. Um, it smells like, it almost smells like a spicy, it's, it's heavy, it's heavier. It's not as heavy as C, I don't think, but it's still a heavier perfume. And, um, it almost smells like a spicy cake or something. I don't know if it's really cake. I want to say like a spicy pickle, but a spicy cake. I No, that's weird, I know. But it does smell good. It's just a heavy scent, you know. Another scent that I absolutely adore is um, it's from Ralph Lauren, I believe. Let me make sure. Yes, this is from Ralph Lauren Midnight Romance. This is very good. I received this at Christmas once as well. Um... This smells good. This is, um, I'm sorry, my headband's coming off. My headband's coming off. I, I washed my hair today, but I didn't really fix it. I put it in a bun to go to town. I didn't even wear any makeup today, y'all, except some gloss. Let me put this back on. Excuse me there for a second. Anyways, um, but this Midnight Romance is floral and light. I know I keep saying they're all floral, but apparently I like that more than some things. Let's just see. I'm sure I got a spot somewhere. It smells delish. This smells like summertime to me, like a nighttime summer fragrance. That's what it smells like to me. It smells very, very good. Uh, let's see what else we have here. My favorite one, of course, that I told you I've been wearing is uh, Dior, Dior Joy. That's been my favorite one here lately that I've just worn a lot. And um, this is, my mama had this and I loved it and she didn't like it. And I don't know if it's out of date. Does it have a date? I have don't know. It's called Sun, Moon, and Stars. But this has always smelt really, really good. I don't, I smell to it, but I've sprayed so much that I can't really tell what the fragrance is on it, but it does smell good. I think it does. 
and another one that I had was from uh, Dolce and Cabana. Now they don't make this fragrance anymore. I think it was called Red. Um, it's empty. It's got that little tiny bit in there. But um, I used all of this, and they quit making it. But I think it's called I think it's called Red um, because. They had light blue, and then they had red. Now, I, they have another one now. It's called, uh, maybe it's called Forever Red. It's called something, but anyway, regardless of whatever this was, they don't make it anymore, and it was the best perfume, the best to me. You know how um, I got some polo for women, but it's not. It's Ralph Lauren, but I don't really think it's called just polo. I'm not sure what it's called, really. I don't know. I had to have to look it up. But you know how Polo has that. Even in the men's fragrance. It just has that certain Polo smell. I don't know. There's just. I can't put my finger on what it is. But it's just a Polo smell. You smelled perfume before. Or, or cologne. You smelled the Polo. It has that just some kind of um, scent that you know is Polo. Well, it's the same as this right here. But this is um, a little spicy for women. I know I sprayed it right there. All I know to say it's spicy polo. That's what it smells like to me. But um, it's the same as, you know, um, the polo. Uh, what I'm trying to think of what I'm trying to say. You know, they have a... Just a certain scent that you know it's polo. And that's what that smells like. Except for it's spicy. But yeah, that's all the perfumes I have. And um, I know this has been a really, really short video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. And remember that you are beautiful. I mean, you are beautiful beautiful and don't you forget it love you guys bye